Dr. McWheelie. This is Dr. McWheelie. She's repairing an old car in her garage. Hello, Dr. McWheelie. The car's engine is broken. Dr. McWheelie is trying to fix it. Oh, can you hear that? A strange sound. Let's go outside and see what's making that noise. Whoa! A helicopter? A helicopter's never come to the garage before. Not bad! Dr. McWheelie says she has to do her usual checks on it, and she's climbing up onto the roof. What a big helicopter! Hello, what's the matter? The helicopter's taken off into the air. Don't move now! Who's been gnawing at your wheel? That's why the helicopter flew to the garage to get its wheel changed. There should be a wheel that fits somewhere in the garage. Help you, helicopter. To get the wheel off, we'll need a spanner. Do you know how to take nuts and bolts off? You need to turn to the left, counterclockwise. But if we need to fasten the nuts and bolts, we turn clockwise. Sometimes it can be the other way around, but that's very rare. Fly up a bit, helicopter. We'll take off your wheel. Let's put on a new one. All done. The helicopter is very happy. It's decided to give Dr. McWheelie a ride. And she's more than happy to get in the cabin. The helicopter is a fair bit off the ground now. And they're both off to have a little fly. Dr. McWheelie loves going flying. She's never ridden on a helicopter before. Oh, did you know that some helicopters have wheels for landing and others have landing skids? Some even have floats. With their help, helicopters can land on water. Helicopters help people. They can be used by firefighters, and as ambulances, and as a whole lot more. Our helicopter is used for transport. It flew Dr. McWheelie around all day, and in the evening they came back to the garage. Dr. McWheelie said that it was awesome. She's back on the ground and is thanking the helicopter. Thank you! And thank you, Dr. McWheelie, for fixing the helicopter's landing gear. The helicopter said goodbye and flown off on its way. Now it's time for us to say goodbye. Till next time! Dr. McWheelie This is Dr. McWheelie's garage. And here she is. She's feeding pigeons outdoors.
Dr. McWheelie, the first customer has come. It's a blue garbage truck. It's very big. Garbage truck, what happened to you? You look upset. Are you bored with your job? I have an idea. We will make a dump truck out of you. We need to replace your container with a dump bed. Like this. Are you feeling better? An excavator will fill your dump bed with soil. Do you like your new job? You can go now. Here we are. Lift your body. The dump truck has come to Dr. McWheelie again. What's up, dump truck? You don't like this job either, do you? Nothing to worry about. We will make a concrete mixer of you. Take off all unnecessary. and put on a huge drum for concrete. It will always rotate, not to let cement harden. Everything is done. Concrete mixer, you can go. Do you enjoy your new job? The concrete mixer is driving to a building site. It has to pour cement. Builders will lay a new house foundation with it. How much important work different vehicles do? Dr. McQueely. Look, this is Dr. McQueely. She's looking out of the airplane window. The airplane just lowered the landing gear. That means it's going to land. And here's the airport. Dr. McWheelie has arrived in London. Now she's crossing the road 
to get on the sightseeing bus. Before you cross the road, you need to look to the left. Oh! Why did this car come from the right? Dr. McWheely did not expect this. Why did it do that? And then she realized. In many countries, cars drive on the right side of the road. But in England, it's different. There, the vehicles drive on the left side. And before crossing the street, you need to look to the right to see them. The vehicles in England are also different. In many countries, the steering wheel is on the left, but in England, it is mounted on the right side. And the dashboard is also on the right. The pedals too. These are the cars that drive in countries with left-hand traffic. Let's remember this. Well, now it's time to find the bus. Oh look, what beautiful red buses they use in England. They are called double-deckers. This double-decker has no roof. It will be great for exploring the city. Exploring new cities is a lot of fun. Look, what buildings do you see here? Write the ones you know in the comments section. Dr. McQueely It's winter. Snow is falling from the sky. Look at these heaps of snow. Dr. McWheely is clearing the parking area outside her garage. There's so much snow. Handy, we need your help. Oh, Handy is helping clear the parking lot. But there's just too much snow. We need a snow plow. Let's call for it. Hello, please send us a snow plow. And here it is! This vehicle has a big plow in the front. It removes the snow from the road and puts it on the roadside. And this brush clears away the remnants of the snow. The snowplow also carries sand and gravel, which it scatters on the road. So the road won't be slippery, and we can get around safely. Here we are! Snowplow, will you help us clean the parking lot? Of course it will. Look how quickly it works. Snow 
snowplow, you're amazing. Thank you. As the day turns to evening, Dr. McWheely and Handy decorate their Christmas tree. Merry Christmas, everyone. And Happy New Year. Dr. McWheely. A blue car is driving on the road very fast. It's changing lanes all the time. The traffic lights will turn yellow now, and the blue car accelerates instead of stopping. It won't make it in time. The light is red. The car hits the brakes. Oh, an accident. You can't drive like this. It's dangerous. You can't drive now. Tow truck, please take the broken car to Dr. McWheely's garage. like a lot of work. You can't violate traffic rules. Okay, let's examine you. Bent suspension, broken windshield, Dented hood, a headlight, and the radiator grill came off. First, let's find a headlight. Which one? This? Or this? Or this? Correct! The last one. Now let's fix the suspension. And put on a new wheel. Don't lose it again. What about the hood? The dented part has to be replaced. The engine is okay, but we need to put in oil. Let's choose a new hood. Which one? This? No. This? Not good. And this one? Looks great. Now paint it. Color do we need? Purple? No. Blue. Next, the windshield.
Remove the old windshield and install the new one. And here is the grill. The car looks like new! You can go, but don't break traffic rules anymore. Be careful on the road. Now say goodbye to Dr. McWheelie. Until next time! <laughs>